Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Fernandez Bastoy on the Commodore Amiga. Um, played the 8 bit versions of it. Um, it wasn't a bad game actually, it wasn't a bad game. So let's see how the Amiga version plays. I come across this game when I saw Nick Jenkins do a review of this. Um, so it inspired me to check it out for myself. Um, Obviously started with the 8-bit versions. Now let's play the Amiga version. Let's see how it is. Here we go. So interestingly, we start off in the Jeep. As in the 8-bit versions, we started off as a soldier on foot. That's interesting. It looks... It plays a little bit differently as well from the 8-bit versions. It certainly looks different. Oh, so on this version the Jeep actually takes damage. There's no music in this version, which is a surprise. Oh fuck, so oh oh you get blood effects on this and all oh, interesting, looks good. I mean really it does feel like a budget game, it really does. It feels like um a polished 8 bit game, to be honest with you. I mean, I didn't have this back in the day, obviously. Or didn't have it on any of the systems, never played it before. I can't get through there. Right. Have to go up here. Ah, oh, I've got shot. Bollocks. Right, go up here. I've got to say that the sound effects are very, very loud on this game. I've had to turn it down at least 50% when I'm recording this. The effects are very loud. The shooting effects, anyway. All oh, right, hang on. I forgot to mention something. If you hold down the um, fire button... Have I got any grenades? Yeah, I think I have. So I think if you hold down fire button... It does on the 8-bit versions anyway. Oh fuck, and that's game over. Bloody hell, that didn't last very long. Only got to enter your name in the stupid arcade style. I'm going to say, I've said it loads and loads of times before. you got a keyboard! It's a Commodore Amiga! Why do you have to put your name in this stupid style when you can just type it? It would be a lot quicker if you type it. Here we go again, let's play it again. So we're in the Jeep. Looks like we're shooting golf balls. So you get a generous amount of lives in this game. It's more than what you do in the 8 bit versions. So, beauty about having a Jeep, you can just run people over. Obviously you can't. Oh! Someone fly tip in there. Naughty naughty. Perhaps he come from Croydon then. <laughs> Only joking. Yeah, I think you do. If you hold your fire button down, you do fire something. It looks like a rocket launcher or something. Oh, so now... Oh, fuck's sake. So if you're old Daniel, you can actually go in these build, but I think you've got to blow the doors off. If Michael say if Michael Kane was here, he would do it. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. I can't even blow the doors off. Oh yes I have, I've blown the doors off. Now we can go in this building, so buildings you might find um, oh, extra ammo. Medi medi medical kits. I'm oh, already down to my last life. Hell. Oh, come on. Bloody hell. Nope, you can't. I mean, why? What's the point? I know if you don't want to take your hands off the controller, but... I'd rather type my name in. 
right, let's just drive. Just don't, just keep driving. Don't worry about. Let's see how far we can get in the level without blowing up. All right, so we go through these. Oh, hey, I've got a way of going through that one. Why can't I go through that one? Bloody hell, stupid! All right. I don't know. All right. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, they're open. Oh, come on! Before the truck. Hang on, I'm trying to get across the bloody train track here. It's a fucking jeep, in it. Oh look, my my jeep's on fire. Oh, now we get got to go for the level crossing because my jeep won't go across train tracks for some reason. Oh right now we. Oh right now we're on foot. Come on, get on your feet, soldier. This definitely plays differently to the 8-bit versions. Fuck it. I'm gonna waste my time down in the buildings, right? Keep out. Why? I'm supposed to. You know, you put a sign up saying keep out. Obviously, I'm supposed to keep out the area. Fucking hell. I don't think I'm going to take any notice to a sign, do you? Oh, fuck's sake. So, one hit. So, you know you get a nice amount of lives on this game, but one hit, that's it. But the 8 bit versions, you've got an energy meter. So, you can take a few hits before you lose a life. So they took a different approach with the Amiga version. I'm only assuming this came out in the Atari ST as well. Maybe, oh fuck it. Maybe an Atari ST port, but I don't know. I'm not sure. It looks like it could be. Being a budget title, wouldn't be surprised. And it's game over already. Uh, hang on, I've got further in this game and I, I didn't even get to enter my name. Maybe because I shot less things. Let's have one more go. So we've got to go and shoot Fernandez. I don't know what he's done, but he's obviously a terrorist or something. Oh, for fuck's sake. How do we get through these fucking things then? It's a fucking useless jeep. I guarantee if the A team were driving, I'd just jump over it or something. Bloody useless, this jeep. Just keep driving, just keep driving, just keep driving. Right. Oh, yeah, it's a fucking useless jeep. Oh, here comes a train. Oh, we can't get through the fucking... And it's on fire. Oh, now the, now the gates are open. And you still can't get through the fucking thing. Bloody hell, what a fucking sort of... Who built this fucking jeep? British Leyland? Right, here we go. Let's just... Run and gun. That's what this game is. Um, I thought obviously Commando's better than this. So I just, because I, when I saw a review, it's a run and gun game, so I thought, you know, I, don't, I like my run and gun game, so I only fitting to give it a go. And so I played the 8 bit versions first, the common one, like the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, and ZX Spectrum versions. Don't know if it come out on any other 8 bit computer. But this definitely plays differently to the 8-bit versions. And the 8-bit versions pretty much played the same. Little bits of different. Few differences here and there, but pretty much the same game.
and all three versions you start on foot as a foot soldier not in a jeep you can fight you can get into a jeep they're just parked off parked somewhere so you can go and find the jeeps but it's interesting that you start off in a jeep in this version right ah fuck it one life left ah oh, there's a jeep there's the jeep let's get in the jeep let's drive in oh bloody hell what another use this jeep Oh, another level cross. Just get on the fucking hell. Will I get off level one? I doubt it. Right, there's a red... Oh, bloody hell. I'm sure sound effects remind me of cannon fodder. I think everyone's played Cannon Vlodder. That was an amazing game. Ah, oh, my Jeep's on fire. It's overheating. So, it's a British Leyland Jeep. <laughs> there we go. We're going to get. No, we still struggle to get across the level crossing. And it's game over. Yeah. Uh. Oh, bollocks. And you can't even erase it, look. You can't erase, they don't even include an erase button. If you make a mistake, you're fucked when you enter your name. And you, you ain't. Yeah, JP. And where did I come ninth after all that? Um, Did I like it as much as the 8-bit version? I don't know, actually. This um, seems a little bit, mind you, they all have the same. I don't know, I don't know. It's hard to call on this one. I don't. It certainly didn't play any better than the 8-bit versions. But it's certainly not a groundbreaking game, as I said in the 8-bit version. It's a budget. It's definitely a budget title. Um, I know it's done by ImageWorks, and that might makes me think it was a full price game. If it's a full price game, then it's certainly not worth the money. I would not pay full price for this. I wouldn't even want to pay 9.99 for this on the Amiga to be honest with you if it was something like um, a fiver I don't know is it worth a fiver I'm not sure if it was 2.99 yes because it feels like an 8-bit game I'd certainly pay 2.99 for it but it's certainly not worth no more than that um, it's okay to play but there's much better run and gun out there um, commandos better than this anyway i'm going to end this now thank you so much for watching till next time and goodbye